treatment and then treatment can um, create other different uh, disturbances. That means, for example, first we try to cure the wind humor and sometimes we wind humor is cured but another humor is disturbed, bile is disturbed and then bile imbalances coming up, arising up. And sometimes wind is not cured and bile is coming up. The same way if the wind humor is cured and the phlegm is coming up or wind humor is not cured and the phlegm is coming up. So it's called the 12 reactions. The summary of pathology, it's the last branch. And he is talking about uh, what uh, the summarized pathology according to Tibetan medicine. Because this, the second branch is, we could call it also the branch of pathology, explanation of all pathology. And if we summarize all this pathology together, and then we see one is hot-natured pathology and one is cold-natured pathology. In Tibetan, we say it, uh, Tsawa and Changwa. Tsawa means a hot disease, Tsawe Nak means a hot disease, and Changwe Nak means cold disease. Now we see here what are the um, methods of the diagnosis according to traditional Tibetan medicine. So here you see one is observation, palpation, and the history of the symptoms. Three important methods. In the observation, observation of tongue or observation of sense organs, observing the eyes or the ears and so on. When we observe the sense organs, here it's important to remember the, the basic philosophy of Tibetan medicine, which is called the Dengel Tawa, the point of view of interdependent. That means when we are observing the sense organs, we are not only checking the conditions of the what are the problems of the sense organs. So we try to understand what is internal organs conditions. For instance, to check the eyes, to understand what is liver condition, to check the ears, to see what is the kidney conditions, and so on. So this interdependent connection, it's very important. We, in Tibetan medicine, is mentioned the liver is the root of the eyes. So through the eyes, we can clearly see what is the condition of liver, or the ears are the flowers of the kidneys, and through the ears we can see the conditions of kidneys. And therefore this sense organ, uh, sense organ uh, reading is very important uh, also in Tibetan medicine. And then the second part is observation of urine, and this is a very unique and typical Tibetan tradition. We pick, collect the patient's urine and to check. Normally, we check it for nine different aspects. Nine different aspects. To check the color of the urine, the stem of the urine, and the bubbles, and the smell, and the sediments, and how the urine changes the cold, and the duration of the becoming cold, or what is the color, or uh, when the urine is completely cold, and so on. And second, second is the palpation, palpation of the pulse, for pulse reading. And um, so, which the pulse reading art is a very ancient um, Asian style of um, uh, diagnostic, diagnostic style which is also mentioned in Chinese medicine, Ayurveda medicine, and also in Tibetan medicine, this pulse reading is uh, very important. And I would say Tibetan style of pulse reading also quite unique, um, because it's not exactly the same like Chinese style or Indian style, Tibetan, we have our own style, and uh, which is a very ancient knowledge and passed through thousands of years. And especially in Tibetan pulse reading, there are like special trainings. For example, pulse reading, sometimes it seems it's easier and sometimes difficult. But of course, we have a very precise training for our fingers. And these precise fingers, like uh, through the concentrating the mind or through the meditations or through reciting the mantras, these very special techniques are specially uh, we can find in Tibetan tradition and Tibetan medicine, which is a very old system. These systems are very old, it's still alive. 
and in the palpation also examining the painful areas to checking the points according to Tibetan medicine in our bodies so we can find two different type of points first is fixed points which is like a, a special points these points indicates uh, uh, specific organs and disturbance and so on or one point is called the painful point to check where is the painful point and then see the reaction of the points and so on. History taking in the here mainly talking uh, three important things. First, what we should know is the what uh, present conditions. Here we see these uh, symptoms according to three humans. The symptom for the wind and the symptom here we see the wind symptoms, here we see the bowel symptoms here we see the phlegm symptoms and these are men like symptoms so through first we get information about symptoms present symptoms and then secondly we should find what are the cause of these symptoms what are cause of these symptoms and then the third aspect we should see what are the reactions of these symptoms for instance if somebody has a headache what is this reaction if this person drinks alcohol? Or what is the reaction if this person goes to take sunshine? Or what, what is the reaction if this uh, person mentally is stressed? So therefore also the reaction through the lifestyle and from the diet is very important. So that helps us to give more deep understanding of uh, these imbalances. And here now we see the method of the treatment the method of treatments and this tree is called the tree of the treatment which is talking four different type of the treatments and the first one is a diet and the second one is lifestyle and the third one is uh, medications and the fourth one is external therapies so here the first two diet and lifestyle are very important because uh, diet and lifestyle are the cause of many chronic disease and therefore if we work with diet and lifestyle so directly we can work on the cause of the disease and that's why these two are most natural and most fundamental treatments and then the next two one is medication normally in tibetan medicine we use um, different type of herbs and minerals some parts of metals also some parts of animals and the, the medications and then external therapy so there are different type of external therapy such as like tibetan acupuncture and massage and cupping moktubushin so here we see about the diet method of the treatment the first one is diet in the diet normally uh, here it's easy to see the food and drinks recommended for the imbalances of wind and food and drinks recommended for the bile uh, disturbance and food and drinks recommended for the phlegm disturbance. These are very general, uh, general idea or very uh, general diet for different type of people. And of course, also specific problems. They have a specific uh, diet. And again, in the lifestyle, he is talking about life's physical activities or physical. Uh, movement or also it's uh, talking about environment um, so it, uh, in Tibetan tradition we call it Sache, Sache is Tibetan geomancy and which is also very important in Tibetan uh, medicine tradition because we believe sometimes if we have the wrong environment or wrong space and then that can be a cause of the problem or wrong management of the space or wrong house or wrong places